Greetings everyone, and Grade here of another Company Rose 2 replay. Spawn up on the right side as a US player, we have Death Machine. Spawn as Ally as a US player, we have Ally Arashisness Vershenten. Vershenten. Spawning as their opposition as the Vermark player, we have Tiger. And his ally as the other Vermark player, we have QAQ, or Quack. Cack? Quack. Is that the German way of saying uh, like a duck sound? All right, listen here. Either way, we have the engineers pushing the way forward now. Now to capture some multiple points, we do have these pioneers, multiple pioneers, four squads of pioneers, all of them going down south, not a single one even heading up to this fuel point here. I probably send at least one up here to capture that point. Do I have something being deployed out here? I'm guessing MG42. And this one, I'm guessing Schimwagen. I'm probably going to guess it wrong. Over here, barracks, Jeep is being deployed on out. Likely going to be a rifleman or Jeep. Not like there's anything else you can deploy out there. MG42 and MG42. So I got 50% right, but 50% wrong. Still a failure. <laughs> Over here we got the jeep starting to engage the pioneers, getting some damage in. Pioneers here capture the VP as the MG42 starts making its way forward. Up here we do have a rifleman squad as well as the engineers capturing these points. Northern sector is completely uncontested. Jeep does go ahead and collapse on or rush down the MG42. And getting some good damage there onto the MG42. But the MG42's defense crews getting some damage as well. And he has packed up the MG42 and now got regular engineers pushing the way forward. And they will find a flank. Uh, no, that's not a flank there. He's getting point blank shots in there. Now he's taking a flank, but he has suppressed. The pioneers can get some good damage in. So is that defense crew. The MG42 is falling on back. Got the other MG42 setting on up as well. And over here we got the pioneers now capture that fuel point, but the rifle do say their hellos and their goodbyes. As we have the engineers advancing, trying to chase down these pioneers down south, the Schimwagen and that's MG42 and the two pioneers pushes way forward. Volksgrenadier having the point on out as well. Looks like they're gonna be engaging the engineers at close range. The pioneers are just sort of just firing away at long range or mid-range. Don't really have a long range attack. Engineer squad will be forced back relatively shortly. We've got the Jeep rolling around. The engineer squad can get fully wiped there. Does get fully wiped there. Shimbog is also engaging the rifleman as the Volkswagen engaging at close range. The Volkswagen Deer getting ripped apart right there. They need to fall back. Almost being like can get wiped themselves. They do fall back in time. Not a whole lot of fire coming on the tree path. He's trying to chase it down a little bit. Pioneers getting some good damage in at point blank range. Volkswagen Deer making an advance. Do get some good damage there onto the Jeep as well. This Volkswagen Grenadier runs by the Jeep a little bit oversight. And that one Pioneer does fall back in time. This Pioneer is getting some good damage there onto the Rifleman as the MP42 is down to one last model. Making some suppression there on this squad as this Rifleman try and go for a flank. The MP42 is set up in a good position there. Should be good at suppress. No problem. Pioneers can go run forward for some fire. He may spot that landmine depending on how busy he is. Losing a fuel sector. Hey, and the Jeep you? does get its engine damage there. The Schimpfwagen will be able to take it out, no problem. And decides to just fight with the Jeep. Rifleman do crawl into the building here. Our forces are taking casualties. We have weapon support on and weapon support center has been deployed on out. Getting some great damage there onto that rifleman. And MG42 will be actually redeploying, not uh, running away. The Shinbog is doing a good job of body blocking him. Thanks to the fact that so close to the edge of the map, getting body blocked is quite easy. It does force him back, and Pioneers does de garrison the building. All of these forces now withdrawing. Very, very nice. Up north, we do got most of engineers engaging the Volksgrenadier point blank. He may get some damage down the German MG42. 
and it looks like more Volkswagen is pushing way up north. There is an observation post here onto the fuel point. In the center, we do have, or in the south, we do have the riflemen inside the garrison, but Flamer will force them out, and the Volkswagen are behind the heavy cover while the riflemen are quite wounded. No triage center. We do have a sniper being deployed on out, and we do have triage center being deployed here. Shinfaken does get some damage, and we do also got a U.S. Flamer engineer, and we do have a Wehrmacht sniper here. A little bit too far forward, getting run down by even by a Flamer. The Flamer squad will likely does go down. And Shinfaken's getting some damage on their. Rifleman squad is Rifleman sort of splitting his fire from the Shimvagen and the Sniper. Sniper does roll a miss there. Flamer not getting any bursts off. And now we have an MG42 set on up, but will get sniped. Does pack up, and the next sniper shot misses, however. Up north, we got the Volkswagen Deers and a Goliath pushing his way forward. And there's no response there, late response. I'm surprised that wasn't a full wipe there. It totally took any damage there, thanks to the retreat state. We got the rifleman squad receiving a bit of fire there. There's some heavy cover there, he captured I. Composition B is in. We're losing Troops ground now. Sticky there. bombs have been researched there by one of the by this US player at least. And then we got some riflemen captured this point. We got this rifleman squad pushing away for as well. The riflemen are capturing that cutoff point, so he will deny the income from this munitions point and the fuel point that he captured. The observation post has gone down, and there's still U.S. landmine right here. These are two Volkswagen Deer squad. That's a casualty, and there's a pioneer of no minesweeper. New recruits in. We're back to full strength. Two riflemen, one sniper. We do have the pioneers capturing up the strategic point in the center of the map. And over here, we do have the bar riflemen getting some good damage onto these Volkswagen there. They're all quite wounded. We need to get some veteran seat in order to get some healing. Enemy unit down. Looks like the Shimwagen goes down. Not sure what. It received must have been a sticky bomb because we do have seen the sticky bomb research for this player. Getting some good damage there on the rifleman. This rifleman squad is behind some light cover. Pioneer down. does go down. These folks are near needs to fall back. They're far, far too wounded. The flamer even poses a severe threat to them being wiped. Two flamers on the retreat path. Doesn't look like they dropped any models there. And MP42 does fall back as well. All those squads are just Objective severely secure. wounded. Do have now an MG bunker being deployed on out. I assume it's going to be an MG bunker. And we've got the riflemen captured the munitions point there. Kampfgraf Center being deployed. We do already have Kampfgraf Center and a Kriegsberg here with a half track. It's likely going to be a reinforcement half track. I doubt it's going to be a flamer half track. Less, and probably not going to be a Warfarman either. MP40 is now making their advance. Could get some good damage there and there. MG Bunker has been deployed. Didn't any, did not get any bursts off of there. Over here, we've got the flamer engineers making their advance. But they will be advancing into nothing. These forces have been reinforced, not healed up. The MG42 is severely wounded still. And don't really want to spend munitions on uh, getting that healed up at the moment. Doesn't appear to be any research there on the Compcraft Center. Nav track is loaded up, likely with a pioneer. Flamer engineers also push away for a flamer pile. And great suppression coming out by the MG42. Still severely wounded. Does drop one of the models there on the Volkswagen Deer. No sticky bomb for Magenta, but Blue of course does have these sticky bombs. And there is a landmine there by the US player as well. Sniper does get a hit there on the MP40 Volks as they make their advance. Sniper Fairmont Sniper gets a kill as well. And the regroup animation there allowed them to take up some extra bullets, but didn't go down there. Two riflemen are here, one with bars. 
and the US landmine does get detonated on the half track and no damage engine, no nothing. So he can able to back away no problem and get out a pioneer the half track to get the pioneer to start repairing up. I'm assuming there's a pioneer in the back. Down south, we've got the Pack 38. They could push a bit forward to support the MG bunker in case it gets under siege. Yeah, Rifleman right do receive a snipe shot there as this Vermox officer starts making his advance. MG42 finds a nice suppression there, and the uh, Volkswagen Deer model does receive a sniper shot there, not the MG42. The MG42 is severely wounded and it's being run down. Got Knight's Crossholders. When do those guys get. He apparently has gotten Panzer Command deployed on out, so he's going to go straight for Knight's Crossholders and heavy infantry. No veteran seat. He needs to get some veteran seat on these guys as soon as possible. Duff is making an investment in Knight's Crossholders. He needs to make an investment to the veteran seat as well. MP40 Volk squad behind the hay bale, a pile of hay. And we've got the, now the bunker now upgraded to a casualty cover bunker, has covered two casualties at the moment. Flame Ranger is making their advance, we've got this Volk squadier here, squad here, but severely wounded. Two serious snipers have been applied now, both of them just got veteran C1. Now the Flamers starting to engage the half track. Half track getting still continuous fire coming on down, both on him and from him. And the Volkswagen Deers getting some good damage there on the behind. What do the fact that they're still behind heavy cover? Now got Petro Suit 1 on the Knight's Cross holders. 30 cal has been deployed on out, an unusual option, but at this point in time, not necessarily half bad to mount into the fighting. And this entry 4 2 will be fine upon the uh, rifleman. Our here do get suppressed. Did not get the sticky bomb off in time. And we've got two sniper shots there onto the Volksgren Deers. Rifleman making their withdrawal from the half track. Gains the suppression there from the MG42, and the half track will maintain the suppression. Up north, we've got the Knights Cross Hoarders firing away. There is a little US landmine here, and the engineer, US Engineer Squad does fully go down. The Huns are taking our territory. Northern points are all captured by the US player. Looks like there's just better field control by the US players, but the Axis players have a bit more of a higher quality force with those Knights nice Cross Holders, I would say. Though the the bars are still quite potent against Volk's Grenadiers. We do got a, a armored car, auto can armored car pushed away forward. We got a Wehrmacht landmine in that crater as well, as well as the second units. squad of Knights right Crossovers. Okay, so this player has gone for armor. Let's switch to the other US player. He's gone for infantry. Let's go to the Wehrmacht player. He has gone for defensive. And for the last one, both of them have gone for defensive. We've got a tank depot being flown out. This is the one who's gone for armor. And to the two uh, US snipers making their advance, we'll find the Volksgren Deers. AT gun has been pulled in out. Of course, there is armor car, but that's about it. They also seen the nice cross holders. So they assume there's going to be. There's also a Panzer Command. So soon there's going to be some good targets for him, but not at the moment. Both of them has gone for defensive, so it's not. Flacky needs our possibility, but not exactly a great idea because with both infantry and armor available, that's going to be a lot of indirect fire. We do have a pair of landmines here, Veramok landmines. Up north, we do have the nice cross orders make their advance. One could stick behind the light cover as the other ones get nice and close. There's some good light cover there. Going for a stun grenade. It does force him back, though the stun grenade largely missed. Oh 
U.S. snipers coming to support these forces. I heard a landmine detonation here. There was, there are two Wehrmacht landmines there. Well, one was two, now just one. And I got the MP40 Volk Squad and the regular Volk Squad Deers. Before the Sarkman won't be able to stay in this building for too much longer. Sniper and rifleman start making advances to casualty recovery bunkers. Both are the same player. Which does mean they have a lot of medics, so if he gets one or two, there's still at least two more to replace him. And he hit me out, had to out med bunkers. You do get a lot of casualties when there's two of them there. Ooh, and that other landmine does find a squad wipe there. Very nice. Up north, we've got the nice crossroaders engaging the engineers. The engineers, of course, are way out class. Veteran C2 on these infantry squads now. Now we've got a pair of M10s pushing the way forward. Maybe I hit that armor car. A couple more casualties to be covered. That would be a free grenadier. He does, of course, has no grenadiers at the moment. He needs the panther strikes, that's for sure. Heavy flak. He's also going for light vehicle veteran C, so he will be able to get out veteran flak guns. And his teammate has also gotten veteran flak, uh, veteran light vehicles. So he can also get veteran flak guns, and it's going for a 50 millimeter now. Unusual, but I do like the 50 millimeter. Fully mobilized by in tank tank mine. Gets damaged engine as well. Gains some great hits across the line. Does activate the Allied war machine. He's a hold fire and not kill this one off just yet. Wait for it to expire. He has plenty of time. Not a massive threat when especially when to mobilize. And this one will crawl away. It was unlikely to get that one as well. Mang on the short, hold fire with the Puma. The Americans are capturing a sector. Wait for it. Wait for it. And now kill it. MG Bunker now receives some fire here. We've got some uh, off that power shoot, getting some great hits there. We've got also registered artillery now raining on in. There's going to be two sets of registered artillery, and the medics do sort of uh, congest around one of the bunkers. There was three medics right there. Now there's, ah, that's this guy's. So one med bunker has gone down. M2 now firing away. Use near his teammates to trigger out center. Got a 30 cal and an 80 gun here, one from each player, as these Knights Cross Holders are making their advance. Flamer's coming here to support. Getting some good damage there for Flamer. And going to try for some crushes. That's some good possibility for crushes. Does fall back towards Knights Cross Holders. Both of them have two members left, and Black 80 has made himself known. The AT gun may be in range of Flak 88 as well. The M10 was shot right around here. A pair of snipers there onto the Grenadier. One Panzer Shrek. Warfarmen tried to get some of these support weapons. I'm largely missing. And misses snipers while at it. When the Pioneers do go down, casualties being immediately being recovered there. There are three rifles spot here, two volts here to the spawn. Warfman half tracks backing away. We do have the auto cannon on push way forward as well. Knights cross quarters are a bit wounded. But these rifleman squads are just getting ripped apart. A little bit too congested. That's gonna suppress there. And we'll be falling back now. And two more catches being quickly recovered, which means another free grenadier. He has two grenadier squads. Black gun will get decrewed right there as more casualties are being recovered. Two more just got recovered. Looks like they're the last of the casualties right now. Nice, nice, nice cross orders need to fall back. Severely wounded and get does not totally get crushed. Almost did. 50 millimeter does get a good pen there, but a little bit outgunned. The un uh, non 50 millimeter one does go down. Panstrek does connect, Black 88 gets a direct hit there, fully out of control there, so the Allied War Machine will reclaim him. And does get a great hit there, Panstrek does get a nice, another good hit there, the Flak 88 should manage to full finish this off. Main gun destroyed, I think one of the Grenadiers may have been crushed to death, no, it was reinforced. 
does go down there. More casualties will be covered right there. That's a very point blank casualty covery, but no, those the medics are sitting just right there. Yes, snipers do get a spread shots out there. We'll cover one of the casualties. Looks like this one right there. But he will gun down the medic. Next medic pushes his way forward. Got the fifth millimeter trying to get some shots in, but it's fired the hill. Nice cross of the both riders make their way forward. Both medics are down, so you won't be able to get any casualties covered in the next engagement. Nice cross are getting some good damage there onto the rifleman. Really good damage there. Okay, two M pans pushing the way forward. Got a good number of riflemen here as well. And we do have the armored car being repaired up by a repair bunker. Let's see, which is right there. Most grenadiers are receiving some sniper shots there. There Losing is a territory. US landmine there. I think that's the same one as we saw from the beginning of the game. Now, Registro Artillery is going to be raining on in. And pens are right here. Well, snipers here to cover them. This Grenadier has received a bit of fire. The Nice Crest Sword is trying to charge down onto the snipers. Got Calio Barrage raining on this region. We'll not get the decrew on that. MG42 as this Volkswagen Deer does get suppressed. Both M10s are quite healthy. All the Grand Deers are falling on back as well. Nice cross orders appear has fallen back as well. And the Warframe Barrage should be raining him in over here. Yep, getting some good hits there. Really good hits on that one. And Virtual Artillery being called in right there. There is a Wehrmacht landmine there. He does find the Wehrmacht landmine. He may run and get wiped out by the Red Shore Artillery on the retreat path. Pretty close, but the two models will escape on now there at the skin of their teeth. Sniper shots there onto the MG42 as the two 50 millimeters are pushing the way forward. North, we do have the gray, a Greyhound being deployed and out. Has been upgraded with armor skirts. I'm not sure about the 30 cal. Or 50 cal. And we got the nice cross quarters advancing. We've got two M10s here. And we do have Veteran C3 on these light vehicles. So if he deploys out a flak 88, he will get extra. Get them fully vetted. Those just two AT guns, which are also skill light vehicle veteran C. British artillery raining on in somewhere up north in the Maven squad wipe there. Snipers pushing way forward, gain some shots there onto the MG42. Here comes a Warframe Barrage. They did get one model there not from this Rifleman squad, appears to be. Nice crossroads making advances, receive some sniper shots there. Two snipers, both of the Metro C3. And tends to pitch some shots in, but largely miss. It does spot the two Caliopes there. So just vet one light vehicles for our blue. Down south we've got a landmine detonation there, tying up the pioneer or engineers. Detonates another landmine there with the 50 millimeter off my power shoot trying to hit these forces. The MG bunker is almost complete. Does receive a direct hit there.
Let's let the Black Knight it does spot this Rifleman. Gains some good damage there, and we now have some more Warfermans. Getting a good hit there on that Rifleman squad. Rifleman here does get suppressed and pinned. And they make it wiped there. Do get wiped there by the Knights nice Cross holders. Calio Barrage running on it does fully retreat back these squads. They're seeing a lot of fire there. Up north, we got the Rifleman squads making their way forward, engaging the Grenadiers as they want them to find a landmine. We defend the fatherland until death. Oh, one of them got sniped. Snipers get another hit there, trying to rush on four, maybe get the last model. And they do. Veterans of three takes no prisoners, just casualties. Here comes the war from Garage, gets some good damage there onto these forces. Got a pair of damage engines onto this Calliope. Attention! The enemy advances. We have 300 points left. We do have Flak 88 right? being deployed on out right here. He has Veteran C2 as well. And Red Shore Artillery raining on in somewhere. Right here, getting some great hits there. Wipes out that rifleman squad. There may have been some mortar hits here. I don't know why. It seems like there's some mortar, mortar hits there. But we do got a pair of landmines spoiled up by the rifleman. U.S. snipers do not get any kills there. As we got these 50 millers engaged in that building. As the AT guns start to engage the MG bunker, trying to get rid of it. Nice cross corner here are quite wounded, maybe need to use some medical crates. We've got a Greyhound engaging as well, getting some great damage in. Those fall back with that squad. Down south, we've got the 50 millimeters engaging the rifleman. And he's getting some good damage there on to that rifleman squad. We've got the two snipers lining up some shots. As the Flak 8 starts firing up north, he does get the Flak 8 D crew there. As another hit there from the 50mm on to the rifleman. That is a Vermont medic charging on forward. Does not reveal stealth. And US AT gun does take out the bunker right there. Engineers are falling back. These engineers are still very healthy. I know this has been mortar shots. Oh, it's been this mortar. Warframe Barrage. Ah, right here. They do miss the Calliopes as these two Calliopes are starting to barrage in. Gets a good damage there onto the Knights Cross Order before we get some wiped. They must have raided the Hilfsul to find and replace Cowards attack our forward base. 30 Cows still very much alive. The Wehrmacht Mortar could get some smoke uh, rounds into there. And we've got the Snipers now getting some good hits there onto the Knights Cross Holders. And does interrupt the capture there and does fall back before getting the ca uh, capture. Next sniper shot. Does not get a hit there. If he would have hit, he would have got the wipe. See, that's Greyhound, AT gun, AT gun, and two M2s. This casualty bunker does need just one more casualty, and we've got these repair engineers pushing the way forward. Now we've got an uh, awesome one deployed on out. No tank veterans at the moment. We've got the two M10s making their advance, and the US landmine there does not get tripped. Warframe's now 
raining on in over here. They do not get any hits there onto the antennas. And these are sort of making their way forward. So, yeah, there is a Pantrax on that squad, so he has put them on the Grenadier's Pantrax. He's actually lost both his bad Grenadier's so far. The 2 3 4 is now seeing a bit of fire there from these forces. They can receive pens from rifle fire, but most of the uh, Pantrax and sticky bombs are a problem. Rangers now charging forward. We've got two Rangers here firing it up, getting a kill there onto the bunker. And also now seeing quite a bit of fire there. Ooh! Friendly fire. I believe that was the Flak 88 getting the kill there. One vehicle kill. That maybe a uh, friendly fire kill. Rangers firing some shots there onto the munitions cast. The munitions will be quite useful to keep for the defensive operations because you get more retro artillery and more 28cm rocket barrages. That's cross orders trying to get crushed by the M10s. They were not successful. Retro artillery now running on top of the command point. Black 88 does take out one of the M10s, the other one does take out the Flak 88. This says Flak 88 has gone down. It's not looking good for the US players. Or not US players, uh Wehrmacht players. Gave some rear armor hits there with the Austin. And these snipers are still a very much alive. Eventually, three, they can move pretty quickly. 35 and 36 kills. And now we've got a wave of intense now charging forward. I think that's going to be a knockout punch on the Axis players. They need more Pantrex. Blue has lost quite a bit of forces. Match cross orders, Grenadiers, Volks Grenadiers, AT guns, Black 88. We do have a couple of Warfamins here. But that's not enough for all of these M10s. Star Trek Trek 4 as well. We've got Pack 38 here. We've got Bazooka equipped from the Pioneer as well. 50 millimeters engaging, but getting some hits there, but they're still way outgunned. Well, the Warfarin still go down. One of the M10s are down as well. Another Puma lost his gun, and there is one more person back out of the game, so likely the end of the game. Another Puma is being focused down as well. Bazooka does connect. Pack 3 has been decrewed, make them destroyed. And the other Warfman does go down. Okay, Bazooka does connect as well. Now the Rangers and the Riflemen started making their way forward. And yep, that one. Vermont player has back to the game. I'm going to head fast forward because the game is pretty much over when one player backs out. The other player is now back down, is back down the game as well. Intense charging forward. And that's the end of the game. This end grade saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.